Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be all about your person. How do they see you and this connection? What do they think about it? What are their thoughts and feelings? Um, on a rather more holistic viewpoint, that experience of it. We have four piles for today's reading, like always from the left to right. Pause if you need a little longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. And I'm going to begin with pile. Number one. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the card of purple corn flower, this is about healing. This says heal and what is mending. So with the picture, picture that we have over here, there's like a swirl. It's kind of going inside and there's a heart in between. And there's the flower is also in between inside the heart. It's got like these angel wings or something like that. I feel like there's surrendering happening on your person's end um, regarding this connection that they are. I feel like they may have fought their feelings for a really long time and they're kind of realizing that they're not going anywhere, this is not going anywhere. So they're kind of like acceptance, there's like acceptance, they're kind of like accepting the situation for what it is. Um, I think this person is, I don't know, they're not happy about something, about your connection. They see this as a very um mending relationship or a healing relationship or a very strong one that they think that this kind of relationship can stand to the test of times like they feel that if there's almost like i heard like if the universe allows them to pursue this maybe there are certain things that they're very cognitively aware of that are blocking or hindering the both of you from fully experiencing it and they feel like it's out of their hand and they they perceive this as like a very destined fated meeting that they had with you under the circumstances it was like i feel like this person was going through something already they feel like there's a lot of uh, endurance in this relationship i feel guided to take the deck and shuffle some cards and ask how do they see the connection I'm hearing that they find it very difficult to be optimistic sometimes. I'm gonna place the cards as I feel guided to. We have the Tower, King of Swords, the Star in the Reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. We have a Scorpio and Aquarius energy bottom of the deck. I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This is Torian energy. By the looks of it, first of all, I think that they see you as a very just person. Um, they see you as someone, they have an intuitive connection with you. So they see you as someone that feels insecure. They are aware of it. 
that you know you feel sad about it um you may have put in effort and it didn't turn out to be and like that and they feel sad you feel sad for you that um something happened naturally over here it was not exactly their fault either that's what i kind of pick up or it was not purposely done by them they feel like something happened the way it had to and they feel like that may have impacted you a lot and it may have led to you feeling very sad or uh, disheartened or something like i'm seeing like maybe they feel like you really shed tears um on it um they feel that you definitely felt they see like they couldn't either was a situation they couldn't explain it to you it just happened they have their reasons and something happened that made you feel left out in the cold and they they suspect and they kind of I, I keep hearing they know that you know you were left heartbroken it must have given you i'm hearing a very wrong impression of them and their priorities so to speak i'm going to take a um a card from your pre shuffled we have cancer and i'm going to take this one in reverse reverse up right okay i'm going to take this enough you were born enough so they think that uh, the situation might have left you feeling that they didn't perceive you to be enough it's like this person feels like they the way that situation turned out to be it might have left you feeling like it might have left you feeling like they didn't value you or feel or make you feel like how much they care for you they kind of perceive you as someone that was left with half information like we say that half information is worse than false information because it left a lot of room for assumption that it left a lot of things and uh, for you to assume about them and i think that um they they're not very communicative or they couldn't be very communicative like things happened in a manner that you guys got separated it's like the tower moment is something that was not in hand of both of you and you were doing what you felt was right but it ended up leaving you in the dark or making you feel abandoned or left out or unwanted or something like that like it made you feel cornered out and you know they think of you with the cancerian energy nurture comfort protection as someone that's very sensitive and they think that you invested in them um you know you took some sort of leap of faith or plunge whatever you like to call it and they feel like however the situation played out it was rather more unfair to you it's almost like they have something that they didn't share to you like they didn't tell you exactly um and they they if you know they they kind of perceive it is like if they would go back into the situation they would tell you that um you know if they knew any better basically if they knew any better they would tell you that like i i didn't mean it to come across like that okay i have this card as well we have um wedding so i feel like intuitively i strongly pick up that this was this is like a pickle it's hurting my head because there's i think there's a lot that's not revealed with the scorpio energy starting off it's a very transformative energy so it was like i feel like they think that you were left feeling like they did not value you or they did not reciprocate your interest um and i'm hearing my hands were tired in something so they were they just the situation ended in such a manner that they do understand it might have left you heartbroken that's what we keep talking about it's like i'm talking in i'm going in circles with this energy 
So they, the way they see you in this situation is like, okay, just the way that they see you is someone that was left at a disadvantage in this specific situation that, um, that they weren't attractive enough, attracted to you enough, or like they didn't want you enough. Like it kind of could have led to those sort of um, trail of thoughts in your head. That's what they think. Because I think that, I don't know, they just feel like you may have been left out in the dark by the situation that was created. And for them, I think they would say that I regret it. I didn't know any better how to behave in the past. I'm going to take another card. We have Gemini, curiosity, intellect, networking. So it was a very sensitive situation. And... I think one of the things that they keep telling me is like, let them know that I really do care. Because with Gemini, this is again Mercury energy, which is of the mind. I think how they see you is as someone that is also quite rapid in terms of your movement. Because there's a soul tie, there's an energetic tie over here. So they can feel the changes that are taking place. Something intuitively they can grasp upon it. And they can feel that there are certain changes that are taking place within you. where Wherever you were left, like I hear the word uns unsaid, unspoken. So wherever you were left in the dark, blindsided by them. You were mending and you were healing. You were healing from it. Like if it brought out an insecurity or if it brought out a feeling or if it left an impact on you. Um, you're actively working on it. They see this like optimism that you don't, you, you shed skin. So they're seeing some change taking place or like a movement. Like with the Gemini, it's like, I see like something about like DNA or cells or something like like regeneration, like your um, you're just moving forward with what you have. You're regenerating. You're filling the gaps, and whatever that situation left an imprint on you, you're trying to declutter your mind and not internalize that as much as it may have triggered you. You're trying to realize, and you're working on it. Like you're repairing yourself. You're healing yourself. Basic. You're not trying to. Like they almost see you as someone that's very quick. You're quick. You're quicker than a lot of people. You're not letting this impact you. And you're a very smart person, but you're also very intuitive and very sensitive. So they're aware of this. Um, and how they see you is also very related with the wedding card and the heel. That they think that you're um, someone that is worth... A very solid commitment. Um, it could have been that they couldn't offer you that. But they still see that. They have always seen that. Or maybe like they still see that. I think I feel more assured when I say that they still see that in you. Because we have Hierophant and then we have Wedding as well. The King of Swords is like, you're a very smart person. You're like very emotional. You're kind of stubborn and a little, you know, like self-absorbed in the best manner. Like you took the loss and you're you're working on with whatever you have, working on it with whatever you have, trying to make it a win. And with the King of Swords, this is someone that's very, very um, smart, intellectual, full of wisdom. And Hierophant is, they're spiritual. They feel like you're not going to back down if they are in your corner or not. 
you kind of see with someone that's like well yeah it still bothers me but it's like life goes on I feel like I'm tapping in your energy and like this process of emotional transmutation. It's it's like really taking on your toll on your health. You're probably sleeping a lot. I'm hearing light codes. It's like you're you're doing astral traveling or your angels are working with you during your dream state as well. So you're kind of like, if you're wondering, like, why do I still feel quite tired after um, I am getting a full night's sleep or my regular hours? Because you're traveling at night. So you're, it's like, this is a tedious process. It takes a while. But then it's for your own good. You know that. I think this is not your first um, rodeo at astro traveling or healing something quite deep um and i think that like this is not coming from your person of course this is more of like spiritual guide information and i think that this situation may have triggered your worthiness wounds being away from them because this because if the the, the spread is opening up with the tower energy which tells me that the situation that was played out which was out of your person's hand as well they didn't do it this was the universe's doing because it affected them as well as you and the core wound of it was feeling unworthy so the situation over here was out of both of your hands and the way that we ask the question how do they see you they see with someone that was left out in the corner it might have really hurt you and you went back into your shell to protect yourself to heal yourself with whatever whatever impacted you in this situation and you're a very intellectual person you're smart so they see that you're capable enough of taking care of yourself and you know if you fall down you're going to get back up what is it see your connection i feel like it's they think that it's not for the faint of heart i just heard me the force be with you it's like you need, there's something very spiritual about it. That's what they think. They're not all, they want to let you know that they're not all against the connection. They have as much difficulty coping up with the, the flow of it as you do. That's what they want to tell you. You have a, I keep hearing that, you know, from their perspective, they think that you have a misconception about them, their feelings and their intentions or perhaps like however it made you feel is not what it looks like that's what they're saying like they may have hid things but they're not such terrible things that they're actually hiding from you they're saying like I, i'm just scared of vulnerability and that's why i do that So with ideation, okay, they want me to pull out another card about how do they see this connection. On go. Um, bottom of the deck, we have ghost and confidence. I'm going to talk about this later because this brings in another tangent of it. Um, ideation and hunger, These, this is a solar... It's not exactly yellow. Do they have orange? Because then that would be yellow. Yeah, they have. So this is solar plexus. This is hunger, solar plexus, and then red is root. Root is related with, in simpler terms, your stability, your inner stability, basically. Solar plexus is related with uh, self-esteem, at the very least. So they think of the situation as something that... Um, has induced a hunger for, or a, it, it has brought in a greater appetite for uh, better things. Um, they see this connection as something that has ruined their previous um, entanglements, so to speak, or relationships or exes. Like it's like the, the ideation means that they have put this connection, the bond between the both of you, at a different level. 
is something like they um think it's uh, otherworldly it's very different um and they think that if it's so different and special it, this person has got to be the one like how can i go through so much change um i'm hearing willingly and feel so much for them and they have never felt the sense of yearning or missing uh someone from what or like while being apart from them and i think ideation just means that they see this connection as class apart or something that's very different than anything else that they have experienced in their life um with the hunger also it's like they want more of it they see that they want more not just out of this relationship but out of life it has raised their standards as almost uh, you know like how they perceive this connection they are um you know fascinated and uh, uh, kind of like a, um, there's a pride a level of pride that wow like i i you know this is what i have and like i wonder how many people do really experience this with the ghost and you know the confidence it's like this is the level of superiority to this connection that they perceive to exist like this is something different than what i have experienced um before I'm going to take this one in reverse. We have new love in reverse. What does it say? A new person has stirred you romantically. Um, is it possible you've known this person before? You're not new, new. You could have been acquaintance. You could have been just known to them. But the thing about it is something that came exactly... They perceive it to be the right time. Like it may not be in the sense that it's... right now it's not aligning but they just think that something about it is very divinely done on divine timing like they feel like the person they are today can comprehend these complex things these complications better than they could have before if this connection came before so there's something about like uh definitely again idealizing the divine timing of it this connection may have really made this person uh, like may have strengthened their belief in universal clock or things or angels and something like that like something spiritually induced everything over here is very magnetic everything is like an epiphany it's like this person is seeing things very differently through this connection and they're very um they're very they're very possessive or um they're very proud of this connection it almost seems like like I got to experience this. I'm not seeing any of my friends. Like they're feeling very special that they got to experience this. Is almost how I feel. Six of Wands again. I'm telling you, there's little this level of pride. We have Emperor and the Three of Cups. Like this person. I don't see them like bragging about it but there's just this level of like you know I got to experience this like there must be something special about me too that I got to experience this as literally the type of um understanding of the situation i pick up from this person how else do they think about you and your connection
very enthusiastic person, very fond of you. That's probably why they're so concerned about the type of oppression that they left on you. You have five of swords. Yeah, it, it seemed like, you know, it's like oh, somebody won, but nobody actually won. So they kind of want to let you know, like, you know, it hurt me as well. The Hermit and the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I also have Eight of Cups. This is Virgo energy. Again, Mercury energy. They see it like once in a lifetime type of an opportunity, like grow old with me type of an opportunity. Um, something that with the Eight of Cups, like there was a separation, we were working on it, but something happened. There's like a developing inner faith that there must be a damn reason why we're away from each other. And um, at some intuitive level, there is awareness like why that may be true. But there's also like, you know, the uh, other humanly experience of it. Like I really miss them. I would just love to be around them. And There's something about an explanation. I can't, I can't escape it. Like they want to clear something out that that's not what I felt or meant or that's not true about me whatever you think like they want to clear something that's like a misunderstanding about them to you surrender I told you this person is beginning to surrender to this connection and I feel like it's the work that both of you um have put in I'm gonna pull out an advice card for you about your energy movement this is like uh, you may be in still purging some things and maybe this reading comes in time clears up something for you maybe this is a little step forward in your healing journey regarding something about this connection how things went down and they're saying that you keep moving forward and and don't exactly be so hooked if you are when will they catch up just keep moving forward they will catch up they won't forget you they can't forget you just look at them they've idealized you and your connection they haven't experienced anything like it you know so I'm going to use my self-curated oracle deck pile number one to conclude this reading. If you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from these decks, information is given down below. I just said take it with a grain of salt. So whatever message I, I pull out, take it with a grain of salt. There must be a reason for that. I dream about you. So there's astral traveling. Are you traveling to this person? You know, my first impression of it was that you're traveling. Something about, I heard Akashic Records. Patience. I need more time to myself. You're my soulmate. I want to let it all out. This is like, I want to explain myself. I do want this to deepen like you do. I am upset with myself. This is again like something is like really bugging this person. I want to tell them my ego got the best of me. And I told my friends about you. Okay. So by number one, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below. And I am going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the card of Honeybee. This says sweeten. It also says what is mine to share. This is a very illuminating card. I just heard sweeten the deal. <laughs> it's like it's this person. Um, I feel like there's this energy of like probably being mm, 
non-committal and then having met you and feeling like okay that sweetens the deal like if it's with this person I'll probably you know I'll I'll take one for the team that's that's like that's just they referring themselves as the team like the light and the dark within them and they're they're talking about it in the sense like oh you know this person it's for them so like you know it's fine like is worth it like there's a lot of sexual appeal um and what sweetens the deal is like you basically it's um it makes the hell a lot of difference to this person especially like how beautiful you look like you look and yeah like I'm gonna take this pre-shuffle card. I'm gonna see very soon. So this is about the connection, is what I am picking up from spirit. This is about they have made a decision to give in to this, give it a shot trust you and very soon refers to probably them what is very soon yeah them making a move towards you like if you're already talking to them they wanna take it to the next level whatever your next level is if you're not talking to them they want to rekindle and set the intentions this is like they're giving me this person could have good pisces or aquarius in their chart because i i feel like they are spiritual and they've got a good sense of humor with the way i'm picking up on this light-hearted energy and spirits like wait for it like it gets deep so because it's like then there's pisces and then you know they're hopeless romantic this person thinks that you could get anyone um you don't really have to try enough they have like put you on a pedestal for good reasons um you are genuinely different than this is what they would actually in their perspective qualify as a high value person like you and this connection could be something that's quite hidden they don't tell a lot of people about it because this person seems to be superstitious to me and that is probably where the spiritual component comes in because this person cares about eagle eye they just don't like to tell people when they're about to do something. So they seem the type to. I'm going to take another card. This is how they see you. Romantic feelings. Again, because this says that your feelings are real and worth exploring, they've had the time to understand that this is what they really, really care about they are in love with you they they've taken a lot of time to think about it like and they've come to this realization because i'm reading what is mine to share it there's a sense of like they've kind of realized recently um through their own isolation phase through their own hermit quote unquote because I was picking up on Mar uh, Mercury, oh Virgo, and it's it's like they're they've thought about it and they're like this opportunity is in front of me and what am I gonna do about it? So they're giving me a very masculine energy, general and specific, where they're like kind of like I'd be a fool um, if I don't pursue it with this person, like. I have a connection with them. They're on top of that. They're beautiful. Like I feel like your physical appearance does play a good um, role in this because um, they're very attracted to you, um, and I don't feel like it's a lustful energy. I'm not getting that as of now. 
I'm not picking up on anything that's like a sexual exchange. I'm just picking up that you're a beautiful person to look at. Um, and they are pretty much obsessed with how you look is what I'm picking up. But for, uh, on the other side, I don't feel like it's just a superficial interest because, you know, they have feelings for you and they're pretty eager. And I feel like when I, I've, I've been like going around in circles, like, uh, you know, this person probably downplays their feelings for you a little bit here and there because they have feelings of uh, possessiveness with Cher. Considering they think that you could get anyone and you're also on top of that, you're very sweet. They think that when you speak, you're very sweet. Um, and they somewhere feel like, you know, because they're telling me that you are the B. And they're thinking of themselves as the flower. So they're thinking like, you are the one that they're aware of, that you're interested in them. So they're kind of like, again, like I'd be a fool to let this one go. That's almost where right here. I opened another card which says Weeping Wound. This is You Are Not Your Wound. I think one thing that majorly troubles this person in terms of relationships and romantic feelings is um, a feeling of possessiveness. That's what I keep picking up over here. A feeling of possessiveness generally that comes from a fear of not feeling good enough that makes them feel like when they're in a relationship, they can lose that person. So they're probably very authoritative or controlling or something like that. Like this person is not how they come across. They have this impulsive tendency to go and get what they want because they're scared that somebody else is going to get what I want. So I feel like in hindsight, why they want to make a move towards you so quickly is because they're insecure that they're going to lose out on you. I feel like it's not, it's not, it is probably time sensitive, but it's very much related with if I don't, somebody else will. And then I am going to be making a pouty face because they're, I don't know if they've experienced this before. I, I really don't know, but they're just like, I can't, I just don't want to let them go. This reading is all over the place. The devil. I told you. And there's this other card that came in my hand. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse, which says success unfulfilled. The, their worst fear is that they miss out on you. I'm just going to put it out there. The devil is Capricorn energy, which just talk about this motivation, this drive, this... um. This is not driven by lust. This is driven by insecurity. This is driven by insecurity. I'm going to lose them. Ace of Wands. So I feel like there is a lot of passion because I cannot ignore that because of what the cards are giving me. But then again, my intuition keeps telling me it's there. It's the magnetism that they feel towards you. Because at the, the man's end, we have a fire pit. And then the Ace of Wands is also like a burning log, which does have leaves on it. Which makes me feel like there is a change of heart that has taken place recently that lit a fire under their ass, honestly. Because... I'm going to clarify this with another deck. What is the devil? They're already like, you know it. The, 
they okay well yeah they see this as something that is not grounded or they feel a very strong pull towards you a very strong one one that they cannot fight i'm going to take this in reverse scorpio in reverse again okay? this is jealousy defensive it's my my mine intensity exposing purging and renewing this is like mine 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 i think that maybe they were very passive before and i think that now with the karmic number 8 weeping wounds this person has purged something this is like a a revival that has taken place recently so it could have been very silent it would have been very like strangling this connection and recently this person has purged some wound uh, it could have been inadequacy or not feeling good enough which was making them passive in this relationship and now they have this because there's this masculine energy that i pick up gender non specific in them they have this masculine energy that's like recharged which is like now they feel confident enough somewhere to pursue this where they didn't invest in it before that's how they're seeing this situation like i wasn't good enough before but now i feel better about myself that's that's what i keep hearing there's like i keep hearing there's more than that meets the eye with this person how are they seeing you wow i have again scorpio tower in reverse so they're seeing you as like unamused okay um they're seeing you as someone that's like you're you know you're more attractive to this person because you're not paying any heed to them okay so hear me out this seems like something that was like a masculine feminine runner chase or something even if at a very small level and it seems like whoever the feminine was or if you were the viewer and you did some work and then energetically it switched the dynamic and then this person was forced to do that work so that confrontational shadow work is resulting in unleashing ourselves so i think that on a holistic perspective this means that you if you were in the feminine energy or where we was in the feminine energy came more into their femininity and is resting in their self worth their understanding of self and is calling in the other person which is perceived to be in the masculine energy which is why now that the masculine energy has purged some insecurities it's giving them the confidence to pursue you so this actually seems like someone who's got a fire lit under their ass because they finally got the courage to pursue who they want is what i'm hearing I'm going to open this card. So we have mutable signs. Surrender, fluidity, welcoming, change. So we have Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Pisces is very strong because that is all that is all subconscious which makes me feel like you were probably clinging on to this person too much because you were scared you're going to lose them and this connection and when you had to face that fear this person was scared of a probably a past identity or a lifestyle something that they were to grip they were holding on to it just as much you were holding on to them all out of fear all out of uncertainty the slow the, the 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 slowly by slowly the more that you are loosening your grip this seems like the aftermath this has already happened so if you pick this pile it means this has already happened um, which which gives me that they're seeing you as someone that's like surrendered i'll keep your like fuck all like i'm 
I'm just you you want to act like that you you go be that that's one here like they see you as someone that's like let them loose you're not trying too hard there's something different about you that they're noticing now Not sure if they 100% like it, but I feel like they're kind of very attracted to it. Because it's bringing them into their natural state of pursuing. Kind of like, I, I kept on hearing claim, claim this person. Because, because you've let go of it, showing them that, you know, I'm going to keep you safe. I'm here, like, don't worry. Now you're like, you know what, do whatever you want. So they're like, oh, then, you know, like she or he is open to other people. Then if I don't go and take what's mine. So I'm really not okay with that. Nine of swords in reverse. It's like they were running in the opposite direction. Now they've stopped. Because you've stopped chasing them energetically, even if. So they're like, okay, we have the world. There's a cycle that's completed over here. Six of swords and the moon moving away from again Piscean energy. Oh my god, there's so much water here. Six of swords and moon is like we're moving away from what was holding us back. So this may have been very difficult for the both of you to release this fear of the unknown. That's what I'm picking up over here. This person was stuck to an idea about you know themselves which was driven by past traumas and revenge it's almost like sometimes you know when strict parents make rebellious kids it's like reverse psychology works on them a lot because they almost their brain is wired in a manner when somebody's even like if it's not their parents and then later on they grow up and somebody's trying to tell them this is something you should do it's like they will purposely do the opposite of it because they feel control when somebody's caring for them because they, they're, you know, they've got that dysfunctional relationship where parents have been too possessive uh, and protective of their child. So it's like strict parents, you know, create sneaky kids. And that's why I feel like there was this reverse psychology that worked. This is like reverse energetic mechanism that I see. You let them loose and now they want to come back. That's how they're seeing your situation and they're seeing you as someone that's like, that's like put themselves back and they, you've, you've like, you know, first of all, they were the ones that were your cent at the center of your attention and then now it's like, it's you, you're back in the middle. You're where you need to put yourself, you're putting yourself first and it may have been very difficult but it's almost like they're seeing that you're going to do what's best for you now because you've had enough or you've waited long enough is what i am picking up there's something that is very energetically changed then also they're seeing you as someone that has gone through a very painful cycle if this person betrayed you if this person left you out in the dark if it was just absolutely i feel like confusing for you that's what they see you letting go Almost like done with, like, I don't know if you've let go of them or it's just like the feeling that they're seeing you as someone that's let go of this situation. You're, you may have had a lot of love for this, but you just don't understand what's the point of uh, holding on to this person. I'm going to pull out a few more cards to see how they see you. Sun in reverse. Leo energy. I just feel like they see you as someone that has come out of a very dark phase. And specifically, it could be that it was just a dark phase out of after your breakup with them or something like that, where you have let them go, you've worked on it, and it made you really unhappy at one point.
that's what they were saying in the beginning like you know there's a light-hearted energy and then it gets deep they were like wait it gets deep all right ten of swords again eight of cups this really confirms it like you've taken the time to heal on yourself and bring yourself back you know back in your own make yourself your center of attention bring your equilibrium back basically and the ten of swords is not a small thing it could have been a breakup a cheating a lying a very big like maybe they just ghosted you um in the middle of your relationship like a two three one six month relationship or situation they just left they didn't say anything and they just left like there's a sense of like abandonment or they didn't care about you and they did something that you were not expecting them to do like they did something that they're aware of that was difficult on you it put that nail in the coffin for you and you were like i'm not putting up with this anymore but i gotta say that they think about the situation a shit a lot with the ten of swords twice over here this tells me that they think about this shit a lot and to the extent where their anxiety takes over and they're kind of like paralyzed in thoughts of you they don't they don't really you know they're feeling when you're still accepting a situation whether it happened to you or you did that and like you're nevertheless you're and you're you're left with feeling shitty right even if it happened to you you did that but it's like it was like i'm not comparing that pain but it's like there was that heavy amount of pain something ended over here and the person who left was the one who realized that i deserve more they they went from the eight to to the nine of cups they wanted more and it left this person thinking and feeling like you know so i wonder if this is a mix of a reading because this is general reading and um take whatever you feel fits right for your story if you feel like you know this was not that that deep and they're still coming back or if this was that deep and they're still coming back or if the initial part of it like they're coming back is not in in terms of like i don't know i don't know i don't know your situation just see how what part or a full of it resonates with you over here I'm going to pull out one card for how they're feeling and viewing themselves right now in terms of this. I feel like they feel rejected by you. This is a very big mixed bag considering like how you did some work and then I got this energy. They're going to come back and pursue you. It's confusing for me. I don't know. I'm just going to channel it. So we have magic in reverse. So they're seeing themselves as someone who has lost their hold on you. I feel like that's the way I'm viewing this. And I also feel like they see you as someone that has lost love for this situation. You don't have that much spark for them. And this is almost giving me like if that's your situation... It's like a man, uh, specifically I'm getting for a man that you're watching. It's like specifically a man who realized too late that this woman really loved him. And now she's out of love for him. And he's left with all of his feelings for her because he hurt her too much. I, I don't know, like that's what they narrated in my head happiness again this situation sucked the life out of both of you that's what i feel determination tells me that either this person still has determination or they think that you yeah this, this is possible they still have determination to come back and this could also be that they see you as someone that's determined to get out of this mess because they know that you both are attached to each other and this is not a good situation for you how do they see you Interesting. this this took a toll on you damn like if you had one percent of doubt like if this person knows how much they've hurt you whatever situation happened well they're very aware of it and i feel like it's possible that if the ten of swords was there there was a betrayal there was something that you didn't see coming from this person's end and it really broke you down 
it really impacted you. What else can we know? Strength. They see you as someone in this connection again, not for the faint of heart. It's a difficult one. There is love, but it's a difficult one. This was a karmic connection. That's what I feel like all relationships are, but this one was, it sounds like jam-packed with a lot of things happening here and there. Three of Cups, I'm going to tell you that they want to come back. They're just very possessive about you. We have the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like if it was not cheating and betrayal, it was just that this person walked out on you. Or just, just they just emotionally checked out and you were not and they started stonewalling you or something like there was some sort of silent treatment that this person has come into awareness of. And the world again, which means that the cycle is completed of whatever they were not looking about themselves, looking at about themselves, or whatever you had to go through. Like there's something major that's completed over here because of which this person has realized and is seeing you in a different light and the situation and what they've put you through. It's like um, something that's coming to a full circle, 360, something that's completing, something that definitely seems like a karmic cycle, seems like um, uh, just a lesson or something that you had to go through with each other. That's what I feel. So I'm going to pull out a few channel messages from my self-curated oracle deck. If you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this, information is given down below. Your words hurt me. I'm hearing it goes both ways. I'm seeking my parents' approval in life. I need to take... A step back and reevaluate the situation. I feel like this is what they did. It's possible they ghosted you. They just left you emotionally checked out. I'm still hurting from what happened between us. I lied when I said I didn't have feelings for somebody. I'm hearing that this person tends to make everything about themselves. That's why you there's a sense of like silence on your end or whoever really got hurt. Like they don't want to tell what the other person did or even get it out because they feel like it's like again talking to someone that just doesn't get any better. I don't feel worthy of your love. I'm embarrassed about my actions and I want to give this a real chance. And bottom of the deck I have, I am working on myself. And this also says I wish I met a different, I wish we met at a different time in our lives. Okay? So I feel like that last card still can't escape there's a lot you know there's this connection has a lot of uh, i don't know if this is the right word but like leaking energy it's like there's so much that i'm still feeling and getting and getting it's like this person thinks a heck a lot it's like somebody who finally what they had done caught up with them and they're recently reevaluating the whole situation and going through the what's the word through the motions of it like, you know, they're they're finally able to be in your shoes and realize what happened to you and what they did. That's what it feels like because they're like constantly speaking through me. It's like a leaking energy. They don't have a hold on themselves is what it feels like. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here, pile number two. This was your reading. Um, If this was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below and I am going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye. Hello pile number three, if you chose the bison card, which says B. This card also says, how can I know myself as absolute? So this card gives me the energy of regeneration. I think that your person is integrating certain parts of themselves that they had let 
go or suppressed you know this reminds me of um this movie i saw recently inside out 2 and i think that this connection is something that's requiring i feel very anxious so it's almost like how they're reminding me to re discover yourself you have to declutter bad memories or difficult things that have happened to you so that you can so that you can recall who you were and this refers to you as your childhood innocence your somewhat like i'm hearing your goodwill your faith within yourself i think that this person is quite sensitive and upset these days and as something that i pick up about body image as well the way that they see themselves is playing a huge role in this connection this is a very introspective state that they're in i've got to open a pre shuffle card i'm taking this in reverse we have reconciliation in reverse someone from your past is returning to your life so do you know how we question that if there is a god why does he let bad things happen to us and it's almost like this person questioning that if i was so good and if i did have the universe looking out for me why did the universe let me be in relationships with people that were not good for me and i see here something about accountability and choices that were you made those decisions out of your trauma not because there was not because there was something that wanted the worst for you it's almost like seeing the signs of a specific situation and knowing that this is not good for me but not having the wisdom or basically the knowledge to know this is not good for me you deserve love so it's almost like a recognition that the choices that i have made may have been because i developed beliefs that maybe if i did this person despite knowing or not knowing you know we're not compatible or trying too hard to fix it not being able to let go of people places things or characteristics of yourself that you have adopted seeing that if i do this then it's going to bring me more people's acceptance or um i think you should really watch that movie inside out because they're using that as my intuitive reference right now and it's almost giving a sense of awakening where um this person is completing a contemplative cycle in terms of realizing that i have made a lot of choices based on what i think other people would like and accept having a fear of being left out and mainly mainly um 
abandonment. That they really feared and they're still like, they're finally able to recognize this through this connection that I was not purposely trying to do this, but this was a belief that I developed when I was younger that I should think more about what people think of me and the choices that I'd make because I think this person is this seems like a crucial point in their life where they're reconciling with suppressed emotions and beliefs that were formed due to an anticipation of what would be acceptable what would make them look like they're the best or they're important or they're accepted a lot of it is around those lines where they made a lot of choices based off what they thought other people would like, Ex what they expected out of this person. I'm going to take this one in the reverse. Yeah, see, we have first house. This is about self-image, individuality, approach to life. This is also related with your body image, the way people perceive you. And somewhere, you know, when you're a teenager and you just have a basic experience in life, the school life is so embedded with people pleasing. And I wouldn't, you, you can't exactly blame yourself as a child or a teenager because you're still trying to figure out your fragile, your you're young you're still figuring things out and you definitely don't want to be alone right so that type of um an exposure had made them very prone to abandoning their own wants and needs and rather going more for what they thought other people or their friends would like and what would make them more acceptable and more popular or more uh, wanted and uh, just wanted and accepted by other people because of course nobody wants to be alone everybody wants to experience um, a cohesive reality everybody wants to as you're just a child right um, you can't blame a child for wanting to fit in so i see that now who they are they are reevaluating a past timeline where perhaps a few of them are phases in their life and especially how this phase and this reflective mode is highlighting on the people that they have chosen to be with despite uh, somewhere knowing what they might actually be happy with so somewhere it's like they're thinking about this connection um in terms of maybe if they had their own skepticisms or skepticism or their own doubts, like how would they be perceived with you? Um, because that's not something that's on you or for you to take personally. Um, however, I do think that this connection is also like two sides of a coin. So you may be also experiencing some feelings of unworthiness or, or fear of being seen or um, uh, being able to stand um, um, apart or out of a crowd or uh, not fitting in because that thought can be scary when you're still figuring yourself out. So uh, it's a lot on this person's plate that is just um, hitting them that I have uh, really made a lot of choices that um, I thought that would bring me a lot of acceptance from other people around me. So this choice could really relate with their friends is what I pick up. Uh, them wanting to be, again, it's like I can't really use another vocabulary for it. It's just acceptance. I don't want to be alone and a fear of losing out on what they have already built so it could be i keep getting the word clout 
it just could be that they belong to a specific friend group or a community that they really like but somewhere now uh, i think that maybe because of this these changes that they're going through it's like a uh, shedding skin it's not just one or two layers it's quite a lot because they're reconnecting with who they are and they they can be prone to feeling like where is my sense of belongingness because the process that i'm picking up over here is one of natural human tendency to feel um like i fit somewhere and i have people that love me uh, because humans are social beings if you go back to ancient times men and women used to um be hunters and gra- gatherers and they used to be in groups in packs so something about it is also like being safety right you have people to fall back upon so there is the whole um dilemma that this person is nearly closing out because it required a lot of um sense of self and courage to be f- willing to first of all accept that maybe there's something changing in me where i used to um where i used to fit in now um it's it's like i am changing or if that was a lifestyle that you know because of these beliefs it uh, give birth to a lifestyle um of um surface level relationships because when you're not looking at what you really need in a relationships there in a relationship there is a gap within yourself and the intimacy you share with another person they're not exactly someone that can see you because compatibility is very real in terms of relationship um it may be that there was a gap in those relationships and now this person is wise enough to recognize well that was not exactly what i needed so there's a lot of deep thinking going on over here where there's a love and hate relationship with the universe right now a love and hate relationship with their faith how they're seeing this connection is all a direct product of their thoughts how they're thinking about the situation how it's making them feel and a lot of this energy seems quite self oriented self absorbed they're like really thinking about themselves how they're feeling right now they're tending to themselves which i feel is necessary um because i think that through this process it may be that you are feeling quite sidelined but i feel the need to say that this is about them you want a healed person that person also needs time to heal and this is the process they're um self absorbed right now because they have to focus on how they really feel right so i think that pluto this is transformative energy so pluto is about uh, grave addictions whether to a lifestyle a pattern thought pattern personality something that is changing around the lines of personality individuality their approach towards life i get a sense of uh, maturing up like becoming a man or a woman of themselves of their own um because there's a recognition and a realization that this is important for my happiness at the end of the day what they also want for themselves and i don't know any the i feel the need to say that they're not selfish or a bad person just because they're taking time to themselves um this is important because if they don't do this they are going to remain unknown to themselves so th- with the pluto energy this gives me that this um lifestyle alteration of personality thought pattern is bringing them closer to themselves and now when you're tapping into this energy you chose this pile the way that they used to view you before has changed in terms of how they view you today um and i think that the more that they're seeing this connection as a blessing in disguise nevertheless quite painful for them because it's a very um 
I hear the word like naked or undressing, like it's really like um, peeling back layers of uh, their own um, persona, the way that they see themselves. I also think that they are, there's a lot of things, okay, this is a very, um, there's layers to this, where I think that they're also realizing that they deserve love and they should make choices that and choose people that make them happy rather than how it looks to the other people looks to other people and how it comes across um to people around them whether it be their family or their friends because there's something about this is my life this is going to be my choice There's something that, you know, they are, I hear the words fix. They have recognized something about themselves that they are really trying to work, purge, transmute it. I'm seeing the queen of pentacle energy. That is how they see you. Four of Wands, Eight of Wands in reverse. So I would say that they are okay. Six of Cups feeling a soulmate connection, a very strong one. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So they are very, very aware of their feelings for you i don't think this person i feel like they they are working on this and they do intend to come back there's just a question of when because i feel like there's definitely one thing with the eight of wands in the reverse they're not able to come towards you right now despite of how much they miss you despite of how much they really want to be with you um and because of this uncertainty it's pushing them to um naturally become a little bit more defensive i don't know they feel a little bit defensive about the connection it's not with you they're also worried this is a time sensitive situation they're worried what and when do they get to be with you because They don't know how you feel. They don't know how you feel. And they see you in terms of how they see you as, the, again, your soulmate. You're not, you've no, you're not making any move towards them. They know that you want a commitment. They kind of suspect that if that's just, you know, if I feel that way and um, this connection, if it truly really exists, um, I can only imagine how much they also want a relationship. This is not something that they think that they can just eyeball or like take casually. This is not just something that they can enter in as a friend and see where it goes, take it casually. Like th that's not the approach that they want to take towards it. gonna change this card in the reverse radical curiosity seeing as if for the first time every time this is in the reverse as well so this gives me the energy that um, radical curiosity in reverse would be this energy of feeling stuck and almost like hooked 
they kind of um, see this connection as somewhere where you know there's a lot of changes happening inside but on surface level of it in the physical realm nothing is moving it could be like i also feel like there's a lot of pent up sexual frustration because um this person has not felt intimacy in such a manner not felt so close to you and it's a natural feeling in humans to want to experience that so there's almost a sense of like things are just not moving forward i want to experience this person in every shape and form so on just sexual they want to have the emotional the mental the spiritual and there's a lot of um, if you have not consummated the relationship or uh, well been intimate with them they they do really think about something along those lines like when they just i feel like it has been so up in the air that they're kind of like i really i would really want to have them around me there's like this feeling that i sense of like physical touch like um, if you've not met them in a while they just want to see you in front of them physically there's a lot of frustration on that part and i don't know why they suspect that you also do have that like you may be also kind of like wanting them in front of them there's like a desire that they're aware of is reciprocated the hermit so they see you as a very wise person this is virgo mercury energy you're they think that you're wiser than them there's something like they think that you may be someone that's very emotionally mature and they think you're very emotionally available and i think that a part of them is also a little um scared of that intensity within you not because like they don't appreciate it but just because like they have been emotionally unavailable and closed off for so long that i think your availability is somewhere maybe or the recognition of your availability somewhere maybe um overwhelms them it's a lot so they there's like they can take this connection in small dosages but they can't take a lot of it at once it, because it's not they're just not used to it i think there's nothing very deep about this it's just they they need it a little bit slow they need this connection to go a little bit slower um then usually other because others might have been passion made or a little surface level this one has intensity it has uh, substance to it it has depth to it which they want they, they can get scared of uh easily so they want it to be uh consumed somewhere slowly by slowly they would like a natural process so that's why um nine of wands there's so much wand energy um you have very um you have very um masculine traits to you um and i say that in the best possible manner that you are someone that's soft but you're going to put this uh, the, like uh, the first understanding or the f at the first glance you're a very warm controlled uh, resilient um wise so when they hear you talk or when they have a conversation with you uh there's just this understanding that they're wiser than wise beyond their age or there's recognition like i keep saying the word recognition so almost like again you know like it's something that they have taken a little time to understand about you that um they they see that somebody who has this type of um knowledge it, it, it's not a book worm kind of a knowledge it's not something you can read and acquire this seems like a real life experience um are they also think that this has made you very selective um and someone who does have a great sense of self worth 
which really attracts them towards you. They really like that you respect yourself. Your boundaries are important to you. Um, and that always self-respect always makes another person very attractive. And uh, two nines over here tells me this is like, again, a completion of a cycle. They They think that you're like waiting on them, not like putting all things in your life at a pause and waiting for them but just hoping that they do show up because uh, they do recognize the connection and they they almost i think if they could say something is like i want it as bad as you do the lover so Gemini energy again, Mercury. This is we. This this could be um. They're seeing you as a match to them in some shape or form, or especially because of the connection they feel. It's. I wonder if this person, you know, because of the superficial relationships they had. And by superficial, I want to clear out one thing that the energy that I pick up is not just like situationships or something like that. They may have been in relationships, but uh, a level of intimacy was not experienced, like the depth of it and the safety in a relationship. It could have been based off longevity they may have been in relationships with people for years but there was just a um a gap somewhere there was not real intimacy or something that now they feel like they crave because they have come in contact with you and how they see this connection is something that they feel that the gods brought it to them and um Something about divine timing, like you met at a specific place or at a specific time in their life ever since that things have been changing drastically for them. It's like it was a clock, a timer that went off and it was time for the both of you to experience this. This person, again, this person also gives me a very masculine energy. It's making them very masculine. That's what I keep hearing. So it's bringing out feelings of um, like defensiveness. Like they, they really want to protect you from any. It's just a natural feeling when you're, you know, falling for someone or you're in love with them. Um, you start caring for their well-being. So, you know. I assume you're in the feminine energy, but this just gives me someone who's like, I don't want you to be struggling so much in life. I want the best for you. I want to take care of you. I want to make life easier for you. It's just, uh, it's just giving like how you read that um, men do it for the right person. You don't have to beg somebody to do that. They just do it when they really want to do it and you're that person that they want to do it for. They kind of place this emphasis on the fact, and this is a gender non-specific reading, so switch roles, but they're kind of placing emphasis on the fact that they are doing this work because of you and for you. Because it has brought a sense of emotional maturity and availability within them as well that they recognize is very good for them how do they see you and the connection surrender and reverse i do pick up on this energy of resistance that existed before mystery and faith again there's a lot about like gods bringing it to them them waiting for this to happen when will it happen and how will it happen that's what i keep picking up over here they also see with someone that will not lower their standards for you 
oh, they will not, they also see you as someone that um, will not lower their standards for them. It's just giving something about the timing that they really think about in a good way. That's like I would say, in a good way, they think about the timing of it. So I'm going to conclude this by pulling out a few channel messages. Um, if you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this, information is given down below. I understand how I have contributed to this situation. I dream about you. I care about how other people perceive us. You're my soulmate. Thank you, Spirit. This confirms what I said. I'm searching for myself. Do you feel the same way? Thank you, Spirit. You're the one for me. Bottom of the deck. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So pile number three, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more at the bell icon. So you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye. Hello pile number four. If you chose the card of nurture eastern cotton tail this is going to be your reading how do they see you and your connection so there's a very um, mothering energy over here this card says what role is mothering energy playing in my life so i think that the way they see you and this connection is as someone they have found to be very sweet kind accepting and somewhat non-judgmental towards them i think that they feel that you know you see them for who they are and it feels great to be loved um they feel really really loved by you or you have this uh, very mothering nature to you um this is something that they're referring as a lot of people don't experience it and there's a sense of safety and comfort with you that they feel like it was naturally brought into their life through you um it's also they're hearing i'm hearing the words refreshing it's very refreshing to know that there are healthier people that exist around they have not really encountered somebody like you or i'm hearing in a really long time they have not really felt this energy and this space and the comfort that you're giving them right now it's uh somewhere you know they see you as someone that I don't know, this person is referring to something about your teenage life and they're thinking that you have you have nurtured yourself into this person and that's why you're able to offer that to them. There's also a reference to what trauma does to your nervous system. You will be more comfortable in a familiar hell rather than in an unfamiliar heaven. That's what I'm picking up over here. So they're kind of referring to you as someone that's new they're not very well adjusted to it. They like the idea of it, but the, the thought of it also scares them. The reality of it might scare them because this person is still learning how to step into this new version of themselves that wants to come towards you. I see panic attacks that uh, take place um, maybe because, you know, this person is purging um, a lot of heavy emotions uh, there's something about like their needs being a burden or them feeling like they are a burden they can't express their emotions because their needs have been neglected in the past um, their emotions have been shamed it could be in childhood it could be the kind of partners they attracted after you know um, 
I'm hearing the words nesting, so it's almost like after they grew up a little bit, they were still attracting people that were not like this. So they kind of still also wonder, what are you for them? Is this just a small experience or can you stay? Uh, there's a fear of abandonment, like I get used to this and what if this person leaves me because they realize that I'm not good enough for them. So that's a fear that I pick up over here that they have in their head. Like this person thinks a lot of a very strong cerebral energy, which gives me that. I'm going to open one card. I'm going to take this one in reverse. True love in reverse. This is the romance of a lifetime. So they, f they think, I don't know, I pick up that this is more like they feel love for you but they wonder if you feel the same way like the question if um you know you you are naturally so um motherly and they wonder if you're always like this with everyone and there's a sense of like but do they reciprocate my romantic feelings for them i don't know are you are you like elder to them in age or just like maturity wise you're very different so they i don't know there's some like some um, childhood stuff very strongly coming over here like i you know the dynamic i'm getting is almost like you are like this with everyone you're like this feminine epitome of femininity and they're like well okay maybe everybody feels like that for them because the way you have conducted yourself seems very generic. Like they've understood that you're this type of a person. So they kind of, it's like a little bit of unrequited love because of their own internal thought patterns. Sometimes they wonder if you reciprocate the same level of interest. I'm going to take this upright. Taurus, trust, patience, sensuality. So. Yeah, there's just so much comfort and they really think that this could be something real and that's what they're pushing for in this connection. They want it. And I think this person is not very forthcoming right now because I'm here from spirit there will be a time when they do come forward. And it's so that they can stop seeing you as someone that can love them in the ways in which they have not been loved. And so that they can mature into, or they can come back into their adult version. Because right now they're in a childhood timeline. You know, whenever they think of you, they feel minimized or diminished. Um, they feel, <laughs> there's somewhere where, you know, this person, um, man or a woman they're looking at you as the parent that didn't love them and that is quite um, natural if we do not go into some sort of freudian theory yeah because this reminds me of oedipus complex but are there you know i'm not gonna lie there is something like that over here because this is very natural, okay? Um, if you think about it, like how we call it, like if a woman, she's into men quite older than her age, it's called daddy issues, right? Because she had a father who was unavailable, so she's not realizing, but she is somewhere still looking for that stability in a man. And the same goes for men. When they not completely aware of how their childhood impacts them and then they kind of dump all their trauma onto a woman that's trying to fix him so somewhere i see that there is a little bit of like i don't know a cry out for help and this i don't think this is something that i pick up that's consciously available to this person or aware or they're aware of it but that's the dynamic somewhere that I see this person's inner child being very caught up. And they need time to heal this whole puzzle 
because if they don't they will only um they will not be an equal for you they will be more like a project or basically you will be sitting and teaching this person basic things how to be in a relationship yeah there's something that i pick up is like um maybe it doesn't have to be that extreme but i cannot lie that i pick up this energy of like um more admiration and uh, admiration and uh, um a need or a want i really want to be loved by them i really want to be loved by them i think you could share that it doesn't have to be on a massive level it's just a, a sense of emptiness inside that comes from not receiving that love in your childhood and that's when you have excessive amount of yearning for another person you you know no matter what they do it's not enough for you like you need them to keep pouring into you because what they're actually pouring into is a void is a sense of um, it's a sense of uh, um a, a sense of brokenness that you feel inside like there's a thought pattern which is like it always minimizes to i'm unworthy uh why wasn't i lovable um i'm broken i'm damaged they will not like me for who i am uh the the key over here you know um is to realize that we're all a little bit fucked up honestly we're all a little bit fucked up so th- there's something when it really separates you from other people is that when you start thinking that you're the only one that's unlovable and a lot of us carry that feeling right um you and i so something about it is to realize that um none of us have it figured out so this is not somewhere where i am trying to make you feel like oh this is a really messed up person you know just because they're really drawn to a part of you that is healed that radiates love right that's a very good thing to have but it is it, is like you know life is um, it has layers so there's a layer to the which they're seeking um, some sort of um, love that they didn't receive in their childhood which results in also not coming forward because they are sensing a sense of like fundamentally being wrong or broken or damaged i am not lovable look at the relationships i've had you're a very significant person in their life I'm going to take this card in the reverse. Pisces into mis- intimacy intuition and compassion. So well, I just heard that it's not that they can't get past it or they're not working on it. You know, this person just needs to um get acquainted and make space for just that feeling rather than trying to find a coping mechanism or escape it. because this is a very deep wound that has been triggered over here so i would imagine you're probably in separation or they're not talking to you right now since you're the catalyst for this uh, there's a push and pull over here because the heal version of them wants to come forward recognize this is what i want and heal version of them wants to run away from it bolt never look at it again so this is how we heal we have a tug of war this is just how us as humans operate i'm hearing the song the climb miley cyrus is like um they see this as something that's difficult they need will power to disconnection they need will power to move and become secure within themselves they are finding it difficult but there's so much desire to be loved by you there's there's almost like this feeling like this has got to be the one or this is my soulmate but there's a level of um, you you seem untouchable or unattainable to them
five of pentacles because there's a feeling of feeling like a, a kind of unwanted see there's nothing you can do i'm going to tell you one thing uh, this seems like a situation where you got to let the universe work on them uh you know because i understand that reassurance is a blessing uh, people who come from broken homes and they don't know how to be loved and ideally somewhere i you know as an adult i also question if what we call a broken home is almost like is so common nobody has a perfect home so somewhere we all have trauma that our parents try to avoid or they have inflicted upon us and we go around searching for homes in other people and nobody teaches us that that home doesn't exist in another person it's within us and there's a certain sort of mending that is taking place within this person that the universe is doing so that when you tell them that you like them they can believe it it's the first step so right now if you try to help them you will actually be getting in between their process because i feel like this person will get spooked as much as they want it there's just this contradiction of her because of the push and pull they will get spooked so with the five of pentacles i'm seeing that how do they see when this connection is something that they're feeling very out of touch there's probably some disassociation or daydreaming or feeling like they're very left out in the cold by you they feel like you're their security you're their muse you're their home um that's how they feel instantly but this is a feeling that is not completely absorbed by them they can this is this is just something that i feel like they have difficulty in believing you care for them in a romantic manner you would want them romantically you would pick them romantically they would be your first option romantically that's what i keep picking up they have kind of generalized your affection for everyone thinking like oh this person's got to be like that with everyone they're so lovely so we have the chariot uh this, this is the energy of you know them seeing this connection and you as something that reflects back these emotions at a very intense amplified level so they feel that this connection really makes them feel things very very deeply which they kind of think like am i capable of handling the intensity because they've not really felt this before they also see you as a very determined person someone that will leave other people behind if it's not exactly in their best interest and i think that they don't maybe they thought that this was selfish but they're kind of like realizing this is what a healthy person does it they put themselves first so i think there was past resentment that's resolving i heard a grudge like how dare you leave me but this is not towards you the best piece of information i would give you is a lot of what they're thinking is a projection from the past it's coming out on you you don't have to take it you don't have to physically take it but you can understand that this is their inner child feeling betrayed why aren't you coming through for me why aren't you loving me through whatever i put you through because they kind of forget you're not their mother you're not their father the nine of cups see you're getting really beautiful cards okay um you have eight of wands and the knight of pentacles bottom of the deck the willingness to be with you is very strong i don't think that there's anybody else this pile is very very clear cut okay 
the only thing that I keep visiting if in this reading is how they view themselves and they view you. And it doesn't have to be that, that extreme, you know, in terms of their wounds and everything. But it's only that right now, because of this connection, they're really experiencing almost a full extent of it. So that's why they're really overpowering your reading. Because they're quite deep into it, which is a good thing. It means that they're healing. So the Nine of Cups tells me it's something that they really want for themselves. They want this. And they recognize the need to fight for this. They recognize that this is what I want for myself. They have this aggression. Like, I'm going to beat anybody who comes in my way. But there's also this push and pull inside. So this push and pull is a very valid and um, physical, almost I would say, manifestation of the internal struggle. One moment they really want to rush in because they do. One moment they don't rush in because they feel unworthy. Knight of Swords, the star in reverse. This is Aquarius. Order of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Again, the back and forth. How they see this connection is very correlated with the way that they feel about themselves. So, oh, this is Page of Swords. Page of Swords is like they keep a very strong eye at your social media. They're constantly looking at what you're doing. They're very curious about you. Very hooked on to you. Very fixated on you. I, I mean, I feel like this is like a puppy in love. That's what I almost get. They might not come across like that, but that's how they are. Fixated upon you. Consumed by the thought of you. You, you know, uh, I see like it's, it's almost like something they have never felt. This type of love affection care from another person they have never felt so welcomed by another person and the star again highlights this feeling inside am i worthy that they've like idealized you and your love this is someone that's been pretty lonely inside i think that's why because i think that um They get hooked on to the bare minimum. That's probably why they feel like a burden. Because their needs have not been fulfilled. Generously. There could be one thing that's common between the both of you. They, they deserve the same love as you do is what I heard. I also heard requirement. They want to fill your cup. This person has such a soft heart. I wonder if they're a water sign. Just generally, like, obviously other <laughs> signs also have a soft heart. But this is giving very watery energy. It's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They, you know, they have a very soft heart. So they, um, they have so much empathy and sensitivity inside that they... As much as they want to ask you, they want to give you the double of it. That's really how they feel inside. I'm not sure how they behave, but how they see you is like, it's so related with their deep, deep feelings. This person is very deep in for you. They're very deep in feelings. I'm going to take this card upright. Chemistry. On top of that, they have this crazy magnetism for you. Like, I feel like there's self-pleasure or something like that being away from you. There's a very strong connection between the both of you. That's what they also see. Something they can't escape. There's also, like, with a star in reverse, I pick up on a little bit of insomnia. Obsessive thinking. Obsessive thinking. When will I get to be with them? I need to get this figured out. I need to get that figured out. If there's you're, you're like, a, apart from each other, this time is doing them really good. It's so important for them and you as well. I can only understand how this is helping the both of you. A very soft person over here that we have. And it's so funny because they see you the same way and they're not recognizing the softness within them. I heard a song, So Sick by Neo. We have Renewal, Regeneration Begins with DK. 
so um, they are um i'm seeing the eight of pentacles and the nine of wands they are allowing uh, you know and um, i know this is reading is about like how do they see when your connection but i'm just gonna flow with the state of it right whatever spirit gives me they are allowing um love in and i'm hearing the song let let in the light let the light in lana del rey so th this is like they they are allowing the changes to take place the necessary changes within them and in their environment of course that help them receive this love there's a level of selfishness and maturity and almost like a sense of boundary that they're placing with themselves and other people around that um you know whatever i had used to like i don't know there's just like this uh you, you your love and your connection is on a pedestal for them and they're like you know i'm not gonna listen to anybody else i feel like this is gonna really make me happy and this is the type of love that they're, they're so in awe and in fact is almost what i hear um of how <laughs> i don't know what are you like i feel like this energy is almost like it just i can only understand how much you've worked on yourself to purify yourself to a level that somebody else is actually able to feel your love without your words it's just the presence of it it's just the i don't know the energy you do you, you know like feeling like your energy really hugs this person around when people meet you your aura is very welcoming it's very very motherly it's this is like the epitome of divine feminine non-judgmental unconditionally loving but knows her own value you could be a man as well but this is like you have a very strong free-flowing energy with renewal and it's almost like they just they just don't know is it real did they really work on themselves that much like how are they so fluent there's a lot of admiration over here Like there's someone special eight of cups so to see this connection is something that's you know quite away from them right now you're away from them they feel the gap the emotional distance with you and eight of cups is like i'm leaving something behind to move to the nine of cups and then the ten of cups and we do have the nine of cups above this so this is like i'm letting go of past things past ways of being because my eyes are set on the prize this is like i want to grab that opportunity i want it for me king of wands in reverse Because they see you in such a place, you know, there is also this energy of like you luring them in. Um, very strong magnetism towards you. With the King of Wands, they see you as someone that's quite laid back. They're not gonna, you know, they're not even thinking like you're not gonna chase them. They're like, they don't have to chase me. This is someone that wants to willingly do that for you. They want to pursue you, not chase you. They don't want to make you feel uncomfortable with the amount of emotions that they have for you, the amount of passion. But this is a very heartfelt energy. The lovers, Gemini Virgo. I feel so much and I, I want to have a give and take with you. I feel a very strong connection with you. The moon, three of wands. Again, there's like a very, like, like a very um, gloomy nighttime energy. Like you're the Romeo to my Juliet. This is like they've really uh, idealized this connection in their head because it's a very strong soul connection that they feel. I wonder if this person wakes up to the thought of you or like dozes off to it. Definitely, definitely, I think that they think about it at night. It's 
strength because the emotions are very strong over here. King of Swords and the Five of Cups. I don't want to make the mistakes I did in my past. They're very, 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 <laughs> very considerate. They don't want to mess it up. You're very precious to them. Very precious to them. Only if you could see the way I see you right now, you would understand like how they recognize the beauty in you. How do they feel about the connection or see the connection? Illumination, the one that is bringing them closer to the reality of it rather than the trauma. And they feel your energy, man. They feel your energy around. That's what I keep feeling. Like, there's got to be something, strength. Like, they feel your energy very strongly around them. You know, when you are, I feel like when we say that, you know, send them love, I think that you have worked on yourself or just this, this connection brings out something within you that is able to send them real lifetime energy to them. It's like you send hugs or like boosting energy or you pray for them. I don't know what you do. They're probably not aware of it. But they just feel your energy around. Something that's hugging them. Something that's helping them. Something that, that is helping them heal themselves. It's like potency. It's amazing. Passion. There's so much passion for you. A very passionate connection and creativity so much that i want to do with you fear and death do you see this is all in black so there's sides to this it's not just you know narrowing down to a fairy tale over here um but i'm hearing that it's good enough for me this is like good enough Like it's more than they thought they would receive from another person. Or the, the, the mysticism or the magical feeling that they get from this connection. Almost. I'm going to put out a few channel messages from my self-curated oracle deck. If you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this information is given down below. I have your worth it all. So that's what I'm talking about. Like I pushed you away because I didn't want to get heartbroken. This is like, you know, if they come and they stay, what if they leave? You're the one for me. Sweet. I feel betrayed. You know, this was that inner child reference I gave in the beginning. Like, why did you leave? I don't feel worthy of your love. Thank you, spirit. I told my family about you. I'm going to pull out a few more. The longer I don't confess my feelings, the heavier my heart gets. I know that there's something worth exploring here and I hate the distance between us. Okay, pile number four, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon. See you on all of our aplonis. Let me know down in the comment section how that tries to meet. The information for personal readings is given down below. Now I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.